So here I'm in Benabare. I'm on my way to the Templar's Castle of Monson. This is an area which is called Aragon, like in France. So in the south of France and the north of Spain there was a big empire called Aragon. Aragon. Just like in the, uh, the Lord of the Rings. Eh? Oh, let's go and have a look. No, it's a fantastic area, beautiful. People are very friendly next to Catalonia. So this is the castle of Benabarre uh, in Aragon. We're going back into the uh, Lord of the Rings. I, I am the Lord of breaking down the pyramids. So I'm in the castle. Let's have a look, eh? Hello, anybody here? I'm here in the castle of Pharaoh. The builders, this is Aragon. Or Aragon. This is why they call the bloke Bob the Builder, eh? Another reference to the builders and the builder boogers. I like these little castles, you know, no, no tourists. Just homie Ross hanging around, hanging loose. Hey, look at that. Nice. Hope that, well, I, I hope that I, I wanted to say I hope they don't close it down like before I'm but there's another door. But anyway, it's a nice lawn, you know, why not? Close me in. I'll sleep here. Close me in please. Lock the door. Yes, sergeant. There's the castle, look at that. It doesn't say from, uh, from what year. You can have another look of Aragon from the other side. Do you see the, uh, some Lord of the Rings or the Cago midgets? Hey, the midgets. And they really were in Aragon. Still are, the Cago. Maybe it's Templars, maybe not, I don't know. Sometimes even the local historians and the locals don't even know. Hey. Like a set a film set here. Oh, it says the year, the old stuff is from the year 1062. 11th century, folks, as always. What a miracle, eh? Where did they come from all of a sudden, eh? Hey, why, why weren't they there before, eh? Well, the Romans were there before and they didn't manage. How many times I have to tell you? I'll tell you so many times until you get nightmares of her. Right? Yes, Sarge. Don't do that, Sarge. I'm having nightmares already. Because of you. First of all, I thought it was a, uh, a well. But I see there's a gate. So there's a tunnel. All these castles, they all have tunnels. Especially the Templar ones. So I'm going to crash down here, have a scoff. Let's have a look. Where's my tunnel? Hey, like the Swiss making tunnels, satanic ritual, the St. Gotha tunnels. Who are the guys of the tunnels? Hey, Templars, what the hell is this? Templars make tunnels, folks, to get away from the king. Hey, Swissy, it's, it's all you, bankers, Templars, Swissy. Oh, almost the time from this side. That thing looks interesting too. Yeah. Oh, where is it? Templars maybe. There we go. 1063 apparently. We are at 1500 meters. 
Look, there must have been a tunnel that closed with concrete, you see? That was a tunnel. Yeah, probably had like bushes all, all over the thing. This is, oh look, staircase going down and look at that. Hey, you see? There's a tunnel going up. Wow, wow, man. Yeah. Wow, the castle is like that. Nice, and the only one here, that's how I like it. That's gonna be my way probably to hitchhike to the Templars one side. What's that? Is it there? Is it maybe that's where I'm going to? Look at that. I love it when I'm all alone in these places. I don't need all your people from the big city around me. I want to be all alone. Pharaoh, homie Ross. Mm, I love these Spanish fried sunflower seeds with a compass on it. The legs is a compass. Uh, this is good for the prostrate. Well, you call them again, you know, like the Halloween stuff. Oh, I forgot it. Okay, let's cough here. Well, yeah, pumpkin seeds, of course. I mean, I'm only speaking German, French, now Spanish all the time. Well, I mean, with the little words I know. See, if you look at it longer, now the man here, the Lord, he's the compass, the concept of three. That's them, our masters. And this little one, that's us. We're more down, we're small, and look how he's grinning, you know, how he's, how he's smiling. And this one, you know, the little slave, and look his arms, are in 90 degrees. That's the concept of four, the base of the pyramid, and this is the side of the pyramid. And you see the flower, normally a flower should be down there on the earth. Have you ever seen a flower like hanging in the sky with the moon here next to it? So the flower, folks, eh? It's red, the old world's order. The flower represents the sun. Meaning the old world's order, they come from the sun. As I told you, a ri in the demotic, it means pregnant sun, as in a rien, Aryan. They were born in the sky, and here you can see it again. They are sun worshippers. This represents the sun. Okay, it's everywhere. It's a everywhere, even the bloody sunflower seeds. Yeah, stupid slave. Look at him. His hands are 90 degrees. Eh? Ah. So what do you think? I'm gonna look after. I'll, I'll be the lord of the castle for tonight. I'm gonna stay here just as long as they close the bloody door and up. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at me, lawn here. Ah, that'll be nice, eh? You know, the main use of these castles is being a breeding ground, eh? With us, the slaves, like building the walls and all that. But they fed us nice, you know, of course they did. You know, down on top of the hill you see another castle. So the next one, you know, if the son, only the first one, the primogenitor, he got the castle. And... If the next, the second son, he could build himself another castle. Everywhere on these hills, eh, you see another castle. And uh, they use the same technique for the for the Freemason lodges. If you're big enough and high enough, excuse me. I know I'm disgusting. <laughs> if you're high enough, like 33 degrees, you can build your, own, your next, your own Freemason Lodge. And this is how they know the, themselves today. In, in the old days, they knew each other from the, from the coat of arms, the name, the castle. Now, they know themselves, each other, by the lodge and their names. They keep record of it all. You know. It's still the same system. But that's the system of the new world order. And here you've got the system of the old world order. 
and uh, so the people are the slaves you know they had to build the walls for them for their breeding ground you know just like the OK Corral, you know, around the uh, nice meadow, having a party here. A breeding ground and raping our women and all that. So, you know, the only ones who could, who really fought back in the entire world were the Germanic tribes. Not the Scandinavians. The Scandinavians, it's Haunabu, Pharaonic, forget about them. I mean the Germans and all the tribes like the Vandals and all that and uh, who I don't think they come from Scandinavia history says so it's a lie probably and they're the only ones who ever fought back and destroyed Rome and set them back like pff, thousand years you know in their conquest and everything set them back thousand years but overconfidence, self-confidence and, you know, like, okay, we beat the hell out of them, you know, that, well, that's a mistake. Because the, uh, the roots were still there, you know, maybe, maybe the plant was gone, like, or invisible, but the roots were still there. You know, they were hiding. So they came back, building these castles, you know, what can you do, you know, it was like a hundred men of the Lord, you know, all his sons and cousins. If they come like, you know, running over your home and threatening your children, give your wife for the night and what can you do? There's nothing you can do. And this is how they did it on a small scale, Every, everywhere a little small scale. They like robber knights. They are robber knights. Ace we like you guys, you're robber knights. You're nothing else you are. Ace we say, you're a robber knight. I can't say that enough. He was stealing from me 20,000 Swiss francs and the rest and stole my child. My, my whole family now. You're robber knights. You only think about money, Swiss, eh? So, this is how it works, eh? I already told you. Can't tell you enough. It's a breeding ground. Making us many kiddies. Until... Georgia Guidestones, there will be a moment, they're going to completely replace us. Place us. This is the great replacement, actually. They're also going to replace the Muslims, they're going to replace us all. This is the great replacement. They're going to keep like 500 million good slaves. Uh, they certainly don't like people like me. If they kick me out, no. Uh, if they close the door or, you know, they come looking for me, I'm, I'm going to pitch my tent there. Uh, it looks like there's a fence around it, or maybe not. On that soccer field there, uh, it looks like a nice lawn, eh? In that little corner there. Or the night. Uh, and in these churches, next to the castle, there's almost always a church, like, next to the castle with this antenna on top of it, you know, or the cross, an antenna, they probably contacted their, uh, the planet where they come from, or something like that, eh? And worshipping the devil. There's nothing good about it. And the Europeans, you know, some of them, you know, being tired of always working on the farm, and, you know, here you could learn something, you know, building techniques, and give orders to other ones if you did your work very well you know you could become the chief and get a, get more food get a bigger salary get some more wine and attract a nice woman you know working for the castle working for the lord right so you know very intelligently a nice intelligent setup you know like going into the army you know nowadays they say oh you can study come in the army and you know you can study and be the man you know at the same time, we let you study, like for, you know, and have a degree or something. Same thing, eh? To attract people. Others, they could work for the Lord, and as they, you know, had all the lands here and paid the slaves well. And, um, you know, so they had enough food. So, no problem, you know, they, they, they... 
They had big caves with all the food, nicely guarded and wine and so you know you'd have a safe job like today. A government job is a safe job, you know, attracting people. This is actually what you will have to say. If you want to be a police officer, the uh, the psychologist, you know, he's gonna to talk to you, or if you go like be an officer in the army, you must say the only thing I'm looking for having a good, safe, guaranteed job. That's what I want to hear. All the other things like I want to hunt crooks or I want to shoot a gun, you know, it doesn't work. You want to have a safe job. This is how they keep you by the balls, see? They don't want Rambos, or well, those, <laughs> you know, some of them maybe. Look, they closed the door. Oh, there's going to be a night at the castle, eh? Where am I gonna put my tent? Let's have a look. Oh look, they left this one open here. Yeah. Why? I can I can put it here. Somewhere. Oh look, there's another castle there. On top of the hill. They're all nests, you know, it's all breeding ground. This here is a nest. Yeah. And afterwards they fight us from the inside out like a virus. It's just a nest. That's what it is, a nest. Right. Now look, this could be a Templar's place here. Oh, there's an old church with obelisk pyramids on it. Why you put a pyramid on a church, eh? So it's second thought. I thought maybe it's better not to sleep. The door, I, well, there was a button on it. So I thought if they're gonna control it, you know, I don't, I, I'd rather stay unseen. Uh, so I, I left, you know, maybe there's a security passing by in the night and the police comes and you never know. So I thought maybe better away. It also got pretty windy up there. So I thought, you know, I better go to that soccer stadium or somewhere. Nice and quiet, unseen on the countryside. Now it's getting dark. So I tell you, with all this grass here, you know, you don't want to sleep in a tarp. I tell you, look at it, all this, it be full of snakes here, you know, all this. I, you don't want to. So here's my tent. Ah, oh, there you can see the castle, look at it. Uh, behind is the castle. Uh, yeah, it was. It got windy and all that. All of a sudden, I thought, no, uh, 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 not a good idea. You always have to keep the human factor apart. Don't get seen if you're an enemy terrain. Rather be like this here, you know, in the bush. You're a lot safer. I, I, I need my sleep to to recuperate. I really need to sleep like you know long. I, I, I can't afford like being woken up like at six o'clock and I got the problem with papers and all that, you know, and if I had everything okay, you know, I just, at the last moment I thought, uh, 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 no, I don't, you know, I just don't feel it. And this, folks, is the difference between a warrior. See my film, Warrior versus Soldier. A warrior can, dis can change his mind on the last moment because he feels things. I've had visions, you know, the cops coming like the next day, I promise you. That's being a warrior, that's the mystic. The Knights Templars don't have that, you know. So you must be flexible, even at the last moment, even if you have some, uh, you have a project like going somewhere, you can change it at the last moment because there's something in the air. 
Okie dokie. So I'm, I know I'm going to have a nice sleep here. Look at all the bushes. I know I can trust the bushes. But I know I can't trust the castle. Hey, and their slaves. Now, honestly, who would come walk here or even find me here? No. I have to walk back through the high grass and down there through the snakes. Now, there are many deadly snakes in Europe, especially Spain and you know, the south. But I, I even saw snakes in Scandinavia. Not that sleeping rough here makes me think about homos, really. <laughs> but, you know, homos are good slaves, you know, and they're happy to pay 60% because they're really nothing, you know. And um, so the, um, they really love the hierarchy. It's like, you dominate me, honey, or shall I dominate you tonight? Eh? So they're very good slaves. They pay 60%. This is what the whole system is about. It's about slavery. That's why we had two world wars. And of course also the war between the New World Order and the Old World Order. Which is partly uh, related to the, um, to the slavery. Because the New World Order, they wanted to have power and slaves as well. You know, to rule over the slaves. Because our masters, they don't want to do anything. Just sit around and do their dirty things and their politics and we are their slaves you know and so they had to give them something and as there are many in the in the, in the the aristocracy already so they're good slaves happy to pay 60 percent and they love the hierarchy you know to make them to make them think that they are somebody you know like in a uniform and have a grade and a, you know a rank then there are somebody so they can dominate, yes, stick their whatever into your ass. So they granted them, you know, the homo marriage. That's why. Yeah. I don't know why I thought about it now. <laughs> don't get funny ideas now, eh? I'll tell you. Oh, time to settle up again, eh? I have to settle all this thing up here. Get on me back. Oh. Make it down the hill through the snaky grass. Well, let's go. Settle up, boys. Oh, that reminded me of John Wayne. You remember? He's one of those Muslim Freemason, um, Alahadin. Uh, how do you call them again? The uh, I forgot their name with a fez and the Muslimic thing on it. And he's playing a cowboy. Come on, just like the other homo. You know, always playing the cowboy. You know, this I dominate you. Can you dominate me? You know, when it came out, he he, uh, he had AIDS and he did his uh, like I, I don't even I don't even use their words when he said he was a a bloody queer. It was a whole shock, you know, like in the 80s. I forgot his name. Real good looking bloke, actually. A really, you know, masculine looking. But that's only the outside, you know, the, only the peel. The, in, the nucleus, it's all like, you know, buttery stuff. Like, I don't know what. Uh, shit, probably. The inside is like this here. Okay, well that's mine. That's tough shit. I haven't been eating McDonald's for a while. Can you see that? <laughs> okay, what do you think about it, John Wayne? Well, that's what I think about it. Well, let's settle up. Oh, I got a pain in my back, Mr. John Wayne said. I have to go see my masons. Now, wait a minute. I have to get my masculine voice back. Wait a minute, guys. I Oh, I have to take two days out on the set. I have to, where's my masculine voice? Yeah. Oh, now the name got back to me. Shriners. The Shriners, John Wayne. Why they call them the Shriners? Hey, eh? It's from the shrine. 
they say probably in Jerusalem, you know, the buffalo mats and all that. But it is in Egypt, of course, the shrine. Shrine of the devil. That's what they worship. Hey? Eh? Well, you go worship that shit, eh? We'll get you in the end. I'll break down the pyramid for you and your shrine. Shriner, John Wayne. You ever heard a cowboy who was a shriner? Come on. Think the cows and the horses understand it, eh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I was sleeping up there in the bushes, talk, talking to you guys about uh, shrines. Look, this thing here was the holy shrine of the women, you know. Okay, there, look. Do the washing, eh? So, go back to your holy shrine, women and be a woman again you know? and don't give us any queers eh? go back to the holy shrine and in order for the women and their holy shrine not to give us any homos they shouldn't take the pill too many feminine hormones see where I get it eh? gestagen, oestrogen I made a video about it this looks pretty Roman to me too, this path here. Yeah. And stop this alliance with the masters. Hey, no more alliance with the masters. We also will lead this road will lead to hell. I promise you, it will lead to hell. You'll have nothing and they will betray you too in the end. Woman! If you see what they do with the man, killed us by the millions, they will do the same with you in the end, woman. So you just go back to your holy shrine and shut the f up. So I'm just sitting here, just having a beer, eat some cheese and sausage and <coughs> the pumpkin seeds for me, prostate. So and then I see it, you know, look. First of all, of course, I saw the grail here. There it is, the grail. You'd say, okay, it's for the flowers. But you know, where are the flowers, okay? And then, you got these piles here. Oh, where are they? Oh, I can't see a thing anymore. Well, I show it here. Yeah, so you got these piles here, pyramid. And it's, it's got three layers for the concept of three. And each of one of them is a square for the concept of four. So it says the square and compass. And then, the, every time there are two of these. <coughs> you see here, two of these, and then there's nothing. I can't figure that out. Then there are two of these, and then there's the grail. And then there's again two of those, and then, oh, there's only two. Here there again, two of the pyramids, nothing. And then two of the pyramids, and then there's behind that is a grail. So, and then you see Isis here. Ah, oh, it was better before. And, uh, you know, this is not European. I filmed this in my first film in Switzerland. The, uh, the Pharaon show. You know, she's holding the grail here, you know, up this cup. If it would be only water, why is she holding it up like in a ritual? Oh, it's so important, you know? And look, there's water coming out. That means their grains are flooding us, you know. And the dress she's having is not is not European, you know, it's completely pharaonic. And then she has these bracelets here. It's it's a ritual. It's a goddess, it's a it's a it's a servant in a ritual. And then you got here, this is the compass, it's a circle. And around it you got a square, you know? And why they put this square here? So it says the square and compass. That's what she's pouring our blood in it. Our women are there, you know, for the nest. So they can multiply. This is the fucking multiplier. Here, the water here. This, our women who made an alliance with them. You know, if you talk to the authorities, anywhere you go, you have to talk with homos and women. They're gonna, they're gonna explain you how your future is gonna look like. All right, homie, I don't want that, eh? So it says the square here in white for the new world order and the compass 
And this one is red, where they all come from. It has the right colors, red and white. They say this is a simple village, you know, it's a small little, small little village. But anyway, there's a big castle here, you know. That is me, Home you Ross. Of course, the slaves, they don't see it, they don't even want to see it. You know. And I need a couple of minutes as well, you know, so I say, hey, why is this? Why is that? You know, and just look around, why is this? You know, get the images, just filter them in your brain, look at it, take a while, be very patient, slower your heart rhythm, you know. This one slows, slows my heart's rhythm, well, not always. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Well, there's some more pyramids while I look at that, you know, talking about them, eh? So you think, hey, women, that you can wiggle your ass and, you know, you'll be the one, eh? But it reminds you, you know, the grail is on top of you. It's more important than you are. You're just a means for them to multiply. Like here, that's all, you stupid. And I'm here to defend the good women, actually. I meet a lot of good women here who take me hitchhiking. More than 50% of the women in northern Spain, like in Aragon and in Catalonia, there are women taking me all alone through the mountains, through the forest, nobody there. And it seems to me like they understand something. Something has been passed on that their ancestor women, mothers, have been raped by Pharaoh. And they're not going to wiggle their asses for them. I love it here. I think it's very special. And they even gave me a hug afterwards. It's like, sometimes it's like coming back to the 60s here, really. Revolutionaries here, like hippies, solidarity. I think I like it. I'm fed up with the French with all their empty promises. I'm really fed up with them, really. They only protest for the money with their yellow vests, you know. So all the good women there, out there, I'm, I'm behind you. All the bad ones, here, wiggle your asses here. I'll punch you in the nose, and I've already done it. You know, I'm not, I'm not ashamed of it. You want to play hardball, give you hardball. I'm a man, you're not going to give me any orders. And no queers either. You got it? Yes, Sarge.